Today, Fargo, North Dakota, and Johnston, Iowa. We received a Little League question. Now, the thing to know as we go to the second inning, runner on second, Little League is very similar to the professional rule book. Good bunt. Martinez has one play. On first glance, do you think that the runner is safe or out? Let's review because they're going to replay. The runner's cleat knocks his glove. I don't know that I've ever seen this. His glove came off. He caught the ball. And look, his glove comes off his hand. The ball is in his glove, though. Yeah, this is horrible, right? He's got it caught. Then the foot hits his glove, and that comes off of his hand. The rules define a tag as a fielder touching a base with their body while holding the ball securely and firmly in their hand or glove. The rules definition for tag is the same for tagging a runner versus tagging a base. Except it's kind of not. Let me explain. No. I, yeah, this is horrible, right? He's got it caught. Then the foot hits his glove, and that comes off of his hand. It's helpful to separate out the phases of the play. The ball was pitched, batted, field, thrown, caught, attempted base tag, runner, knocks the glove off. Let's get rid of the first half, because we only care about the fielder gaining possession of that ball, tagging the base or attempting to, and then the runner knocking the glove off. So even furthermore, looking at this replay, we'll look at another one after this. It's super helpful to pause after each phase is complete. So first, the catch. The fielder catches this ball with a foot touching the base. So the phase of catch and the phase of tagging the base are one and the same. They're two different phases, but they are simultaneous and concurrent. Next is the runner's foot knocking the glove off. It is this action that causes the glove to come off, the runner stepping on the fielder. Back to the definition, there are two ways to tag. You can tag a base and you can tag a runner. This was a tag base situation. And then the outside influence after the runner is what caused the glove to come off. It wasn't the act of the fielder tagging the base that caused the glove to fall. It was the runner stepping on the fielder. Put another way, back to our phases. We have a phase of a base tag attempt, and then we have a phase of a runner knocking the glove off. If this was a play where the fielder attempted to tag the runner, and this exact same thing happened where the foot knocked the glove off, provided you rule it's unintentional, the runner would be safe. The reason is because it's a different type of tag. It's a tag of a base, touch of a base, versus a runner. He's yeah. out. And that's the reason I have out. The base tag was effectively complete when the runner came in and dislodged the glove. Of course, if the runner gets there first, it's not an out. Come on. Thanks for the question. Be sure to join us on Discord at CloseCallSports.com. We'll see you on the site.